Hi, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace, uh, talking to you about interest rates and inflation today. I've uh, tagged a couple of articles here from Wall Street Journal and Barron's about what's going to happen with interest rates in 2022. Uh, it seems as though the general consensus is, is that uh, the Fed will raise uh, Fed funds rates uh, in the fourth quarter of next year, uh, maybe twice next year, uh, where we might go uh, as uh, high up as uh, a half a percent uh, rate. Uh, and but then others, you know, there's a uh, opposing opinion that it won't happen at all, and that the Fed may uh, tarry and be slow to react. Let's remember it is an election year next year, uh, and uh, but the the problem is the Fed needs to raise interest rates in order to keep inflation tamped down. That's generally uh, the the way it's done. And, and let's face it, inflation is running rampant right now. There is some talk that things will settle down in the first quarter of next year, but that remains to be seen. None of us are seeing it at the fuel pump, and of course energy prices impact the cost of everything uh, from your brand new Tesla to a loaf of bread. Uh, so, and as a real estate investor, interest rates and inflation impact us dramatically because inflation will dictate how we write our leases going forward because a real estate investor generally has to um, uh, look into the future uh, on the commercial real estate, uh, like I work in, uh, look into the future several years and assume what costs are going to increase just to sort of try to stay even. And of course, interest, uh, most of us borrow a great deal of the purchase price of our investments. And so interest rates uh, have a, a big impact on that. Uh, so anyway, take a look at those. I'd be, I would love for you to uh, engage with me on this. Let me know what you think interest rates are going to do next year and, uh, and the year after that. So uh, take a look at that and uh, let's hear from you. Thanks for watching.